M0FXB, let's program our radio using the SD card and the free Yaesu ADMS software. First thing you've got to do is make sure there is an SD card in the radio, which goes at the top here. So there's your SD card there. Let's push that in. Okay, and then go to the radio, and then best to format it if you've never used it before. So go hold down DISP, select SD card on the front and then go format of course if you've added memory channels already then save a backup but at the moment we're just formatting and preparing the sd card so that the adms software can see the files okay that's done and now we're going to back up We'll do the main backup first, so we'll select that. And then we'll go right to CD. Tap the screen. If that doesn't work, press, I think it's DISP, is it? Yeah, DISP, then turn the channel knob to the left. Select OK. Tap the screen and then we'll wait for that. It does take a minute or so. Once you've done that, go back and then do memory channels as well. You may as well. DISP, right to CD. Turn to the left. Click OK and same again. So we've written everything to the CD or SD card, should I say. Once you've done that, then you want to write it back to the SD card. This is really important because I find if you don't do this, it doesn't work. So turn to read from sd card then tap the isp turn the channel to the left click ok and it's waiting so now now the, the sd card is ready to be used so just turn it off and then take the sd card out safely from the under the flap at the top here there you go, and we'll take that and put it into the laptop using an adapter. As soon as you plug it in the laptop, you should see this, but look in, look in your USB drive, basically. We're at the computer. Let's go to Yesu, scroll to the bottom, and click ADMS 8 programming software version 2, it says here, or later, which comes up with this file, and then let's load it up, FT. 2d8xe click that and downloading and there it is there's our our software okay so now we've got the sd card in the radio we want to read that so we're going to communications at the top here and then we're going to click get data from sd card you can use a cable but you need an scu19 cable and they're expensive sd cards are inexpensive so get data from sd card and then you go to this section you want to select your usb drive and then click ft2d backup and you have this little file here on mine double click and there are all my existing memory channels okay nice and easy so let's add a couple so that we can uh, send a couple to the radio now you can click your little arrow here and drag it so you can see everything so we're just going to add uh, a, a hotspot I've got so 434.550 that's a digital hotspot kept it simplex operating mode will be digital now I've noticed it does that on the FT2 it doesn't select digital it doesn't really matter just do, so just leave it there because you can select AMS on the actual radio anyway and it will automatically switch over so we don't need tone and if we want to add a repeater for example we can go one four five dot seven five zero and we'll put a shift in here offset so you can get it they are minus shift like so see so transmit let's just do another see if we can get one to do it automatically by the looks of it so we'll have to put in the input for now tx is one four five dot 
one five zero. We've got minus selective, repeater, and then you want a six here. See the above it says 0 0.6. Delete that six. Got the shift in there. Repeater FM. We'll call it uh, GB three BC. Tone mode. We'll select tone, and it's 94.8. Like so we can and select the power while we're here as well. Slide across here at the bottom to get more settings. Let's go low. Right, that's it. Now let's send this to the SD card. We'll go communication and we're looking at memory numbers 96 and 97. Send data to card and then save. And it'll give you the warning and put yes. Okay, now let's take the SD card out. Back at the radio, we're going to read. So we'll go DI, hold down DISP. SD card, then we'll go back up number one by turning the channel knob, tap the screen, and this time we're going to read from the CD. Push DISP to read, turn the channel knob to the left, and click OK on the screen. So we're now reading, shouldn't take too long. Right, that's completed and re brought us back to this screen. And we're going to go VFO mode by tapping VM here. And then we're going to turn it, was, I think it was 91, was it? Go right to the end. There you go. 43450 and BC there. And like I said, if it's not, you know, if it's a digital, like it's my hotspot, just Let's change the mode here, look. And if you put it on to FM with a line or DM with a line, it's going to automatically find it anyway. You can also, there are settings that you can have on the radio as well that you can change. All you do is go settings here at the top, settings. And then you get all the radio settings there as well. So I hope this helps. 7.3, catch you on air, all the best. And the settings include APRS. GPS, APRS beacon, you've got more memory banks, GM wires, and common. That's your different settings. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.